Right now, nearly 50,000 port workers are on strike across the east and Gulf Coast, including right here in Florida. The strike, which began at midnight, is expected to stop the flow of goods. Angela Rozier is at Port Everglades with what we can expect in the coming days. From Port Everglades ILA, all the way. to the Port of Miami, ILA, all the way. dock workers showed up early Tuesday morning here at Port Everglades. They joined the nationwide strike after negotiations between the port and the union failed. Johnny Dixon is the president of the International Longshoremen's Association in Fort Lauderdale. He says they want better wages and respect. At the end of the day, we want what every American wants, just, just to be treated with respect in the workplace, uh, competitive wages. Uh, health care benefits, an in, in increase in health care benefits, and also more contributions going towards, going towards the men and women's pensions. The strike is impacting ports from Maine to Texas. We asked a supply chain expert at FGCU, how will it impact consumers? Short term, not much in the consumer space. Uh, it might give businesses an excuse to increase prices. They're always looking for excuses, so this is a very good excuse. So you might face an increase from that perspective. The bigger chunk is for businesses who import components from Europe. He doesn't believe the strike will last very long. I don't see this coming to a life and death situation or where supply chains radically change. Um, as supply chain business people, we this is part of our job to, to adjust to these situations. Uh, and I, I, I do think that sense will prevail. Now I asked organizers how long do they plan to strike and they told me they talk with members and they say they are willing to stay here for as long as it takes. At Port Everglades, Angela Rosier, WPBF 25 News.